Welcome back. Uh, this is our EDC, our excellent Dane comments. And the first one comes to you from South Paul 1208. He said, enjoyed the video. I appreciate what you guys are doing. What are the ranges in South Dakota, the public ranges, because I will definitely visit them. Uh, great question. We hope to head up there at some point. Absolutely. Uh, our next comment is from Chris Jensen, 9941. They said, we have an excellent public range in Texas City. Very reasonable. Extra for non-residents. Well, we're actually going to be in Texas for the coming NRA next month. And uh, we might have some time to check that out. We really appreciate the comment, Chris. Thank you for these. And feel free to leave a comment down below on this video. And uh, let's get started. Hey, this is Nate, and we are at the Spring Creek Shooting Range here in southern Tennessee in the Cherokee National Forest. Um, we're excited to get, up th get out there and shoot, but real quick, um, down below is our range resource where you can find ranges like this, as well as uh, links to some of the products you'll see today. So let's, uh, let's go shoot. A uh, little hard to find, but once we got there, incredible facility. Very nice, yeah. Um, we really had it to nice. ourselves for the most part. We did, yeah. yeah. Um, and we decided to pull out the 9mm and... Take it for a spin on the handgun range. On the handgun range, yep. We set up uh, the MTM jam at Target. Uh, worked great in like a sand gravel mixture there. But we ran into a little bit of an issue after a couple of rounds. Um, we had yeah. a jam, a, a rare kind of jam that we haven't seen super often. Maybe you've seen it um, and can comment down below how you would have handled the situation. But James, do you want to? Yeah, so it was on a, the third bullet in. We had a real heavy jam and we could not get that sucker undone. Calm and collected attitudes after a little bit of freaking out. <laughs> I mean, we the we were taking it very serious in that it was a live round. It um, was a live round. We had an appreciation that we we needed to solve the problem. At the range. At the range. We wanted to, um, by no means, out. absolutely be driving around with a half-cocked gun and a live round in it. Yeah. You know? Um, but yeah, it, it was a funny situation in that, like, we were really excited to have the range basically to ourselves. It wasn't empty when we got there, but by the time we had got set up, people had left. And mm -hmm. uh, it was just funny that like it would have been nice to yeah. have. You know, Honestly, more in that situation, I kind of wish there was a 50 year old, you know, range guy who's been around a long time and seen everything because I could have, I could have used the help in that moment, to be completely honest. Yeah, I mean, we figured it out, luckily. Yeah. And uh, it was a great range. Um, Tennessee public land ranges um, it seems like I don't know I'd go back I'd go back to this one um, oh absolutely beautiful area too gorgeous I, right next to a river oh my gosh Cherokee National Forest is actually just a beautiful spot like I, I knew like we'd be in a beautiful area but it was really cool yeah no we uh, we were thrilled with it all things considered um yeah, to be honest, like we don't we don't know um, completely what caused the round but to jam like that. Based on what you see, we you know we'd like to know what you think um, as far as what what you think happened or what you would have done differently in that situation. Um, leave a comment down below and subscribe to see the next range we go to. Keep shooting. Keep shooting.